Hi guys, okay, we're gonna make an incredible dessert. We're gonna go cheesecake, guys. We're gonna go Black Forest frozen cheesecake like you've never seen before. This is one of my favorites. This is serious, serious indulgent treat. You can be as creative as you want with your cheesecake. They can be super simple and they can be amazing any time of the year. With mine, you want that gorgeous biscuity base. Then we want lovely sort of airy, creamy cheesecake mixture and of course, Black Forest. We're going chocolate and cherries. It's gonna be really, really good. So first job, we're gonna do the base, okay? So get your food processor out. You want 300 grams of biscuits. Now the classic was a regular digestive biscuit, but I want the chocolate one, okay? I like the chocolate one, that's going in. We're gonna whiz that up with some melted butter. So I've got 70 grams here of unsalted butter. Just pop it in a pan and just melt it. And it'll take no time at all. I'll whiz this up and literally just pour it into there. Beautiful. And that's done. We're gonna go over to a classic nine inch uh, non-stick cheesecake mold. Uh, I've rubbed this with a little butter already. Next up, let's get the biscuit base in here. Then just shake it, pat it into all the corners, apply a little bit of pressure and it's gonna look like that. That goes in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Put it in for about 10 minutes, okay? Then take it out, let it cool down. Now, next up, we're gonna do the cherry jam. Now I've got two tins of gorgeous dark cherries. Look at that. And what I wanna do is add the two tins to a pan. So 150 grams of sugar goes in. I like to flavor it, sort of spike it. You know, I've got lovely clementines now. Uh, you could use one orange. And I'm just gonna lightly zest, squeeze the juice in. Once it comes to a boil, just turn it down to a simmer for about 20 minutes. So this is reduced down by half. It's deep, it's dark, and it's delicious. And then the biscuit base, that's cooling down now, looking lovely. So we're gonna use free range eggs here, six of these little bad boys, but we need to separate them. Using your little fingers, your little claws, get the yolk like that and just plop it over. So the other 150 grams of sugar goes into the yolks. Then a little pinch of salt goes in with the egg whites and that just helps the egg whites go really stiff and hold the air. Then you need an amazing cream cheese and it's the cream cheese that gives it that classic cheesecake flavor. So in a bowl, we're gonna go in with two tubs, which is 560 grams. And the nice thing here is it's really creamy, fresh, and it's really important because it doesn't really taste like cheesecake unless you've got this in. Then I'm gonna put two generous teaspoons of vanilla extract or vanilla paste. And then 400 milliliters of regular double cream. Mix this together and you can see it thicken up straight away. Then we're gonna go in with the egg whites and just whisk it up. These egg whites are really important because this is gonna make it so light and fluffy. Last but not least, the egg yolks and the sugar. It doesn't need hardly any time but just enough to really dissolve that sugar and the egg yolks will go really light and pale. Go in with the egg yolks and the sugar. Go in with the egg whites. So look, you can see I'm using that folding action and I wanna keep those beautiful bubbles of air in. It's gonna be super creamy. Once that biscuit base has cooled down, which this one has, we're gonna just pour it in. And add in that lovely cherry mixture and just move it around. It's gonna be so good. You wanna freeze it for at least six hours, okay? So do it in the morning for the night, but even better, the point of this dessert is that you do it in advance. Freeze that, and then an hour before you need it, take it out, and then I'll show you what to do next. So I've got 200 grams of quality chocolate uh, over some simmering water. Put 50 grams of butter in there as well. What this is gonna do is just stop it from resetting, uh, and then just a little swig of milk or cream. It might sound a little bit odd, a little tiny pinch of salt really gets chocolate tasting incredible. So just mix that in, just leave that off the heat. The thing about cakes is they do bring a little bit of joy into people's lives. Yeah, baby, really beautiful. Use your knife and just run it around the edge like that, just to clean it up. So we have our chocolate sauce, but I'm still not done. We've got gold leaf, because we are going super fly. Shave chocolate, you decorate it in any way you like. Just have some fun. All the way down. Ah, oh, yes. Let's get it going on. Mmm. 
properly, properly naughty, silky smooth, really, really fresh, really creamy, and the crunch at the bottom is outrageous. And if that did not put cheesecakes back on the menu, I don't know what we'll do. Guys, if you want the recipe, click the link below. If you liked it, give us a little thumbs up. And of course, if you've got ideas about what you would do with this cheesecake, then let us know in the comments box below. Until next time, take care guys, bye.